Hey guys, so today I get to figure out whether or not my Model 3 Salvage will supercharge. I registered it today. I uh, did the third party uh, transfer on the Tesla account uh, and about an hour later, I went to the supercharger. I, you know, I plugged it in and uh, it wasn't doing anything for about 30 seconds. Uh, I was kind of scared, anxious every second, I'm even more, more. What's going on? Anxiety kicking in. Uh, you hear stories about people getting, not people, uh, cars get blacklisted because they're salvage. And what do you know? It worked. This is what the Tesla looked like. This is on my laptop. This is what it looked like. Copart. These are Copart pictures. It was hit right there. Right there. It basically tore out the skin. I, I got really lucky on this one because the, uh, um, the trunk lid actually was not touched. And that piece of the tail light that quarter tail light actually wasn't even damaged wasn't even scratched so i had changed bumper quarter two doors fender the process is you go on the tesla account you put in the vin number then next page basically you put in three pictures you put in the front and back of your registration you put a picture of your id and keep in mind the id and the registration they need to match up for this process to go smoother it can happen but it's it's a different process you got to do it in person at a dealer i uh basically submitted these three pictures next step is you go into your car and you have to change the name of your car to all caps CUA. Once you hit enter, you have a software update. You have to have Wi Fi. You do the process 15, 20 minutes. You get, I think it was two emails. One email saying that congratulations, give three to five business days for this to process. Somebody physically needs to see these. Um, and then the other one is set up supercharger. So the difference with my story is. I, we already have a Tesla account. We have a Model Y that we we bought brand new from the dealer. So once I hit that link to set up Supercharger, I see my last four digits of the uh, the credit card. My address is on there, but the submit button is is not highlighted. I can't submit it. So I'm assuming, obviously, if this was brand new, I never had a uh, account, and this was my first Tesla. I would have to wait for those three to five business days. But since then, you know, I was like, okay, my information's on here. I'm gonna go to the supercharger, see what happens. I went and well, you know, it works. Uh, it took a little longer, you know, than the Model Y. Model Y you plug in a few seconds later, the, you know, kilowatts and miles start to jump on the screen. Uh, this was about 30 seconds. Maybe it, was, it wasn't it was that long, but it seemed long. <laughs> Definitely longer than the uh, Model Y. So it works. Guys, thanks for watching. I got a bunch more videos coming. Um, I'm building a Cybertruck wannabe from a Prius C. Instagram, Cyber Prius. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.